Hey guys, so in this video I just wanted to show you one interesting trick that I found. Uh, well, basically there is nothing new in this trick, but uh, let's say you have two Walkman players and one of them has a pitch problem. So basically when you start playing it, it sounds uh, really strange. The pinch is incorrect, so it either slows down or too fast or some kind of problem. So the first thought that you have is probably that something is wrong with the rubber, right? Yeah, that's, I also uh, thought that it's the problem. So I disassembled this unit and uh, I installed the rubber from another unit, also another Walkman player. And basically, no luck, it's the same thing. So then I come to realize that uh, basically the problem is the motor. And well, if the motor is the problem, uh, then I was not sure how exactly to fix it. I'm still not sure because you probably need to disassemble everything here, then install a new motor and yeah, it's a lot of work. But if you <laughs> connect those like that, right? You install the rubber here in the unit that has the motor problem. And then you connect the unit that has the like, working motor and then you play both. And let's try it. All right, so basically I first play, press play here, uh, which is where exactly it is. I think it's here. Yeah, by the way, the motor starts rotating. And then I press the button here. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's funny experiment actually, because, uh, because it might not work from the first try. As you can hear, the pitch is absolutely correct. Everything is fine. Music sounds fine. Uh, and now let's try the same thing, but with the original motor, which is right here. Let's try this. Guys, I can't believe. For some reason, actually, it started to play the correct pitch. Maybe some junk was inside the motor and it started to finally function well, but I don't know. <laughs> it works now fine. I don't know why it was not functioning well. So it was slowing down the pitch and instead of female voice, it was like male, like whoa, whoa, kind of voice. I don't know. <laughs> Here's the solution anyway. So you can connect both like, like this and use the motor, motor from the correct unit and use with this one. But in this case, hell, I don't know, it works fine now. I'm puzzled. So what do you guys think was incorrect here? Why it suddenly started working? <laughs> I have no idea. Probably, yeah, I think there's some dirt inside. That's why it was not functioning well. And yeah, battery is out of the question because the same battery I used before. So it was not the battery case. So basically when the pitch isn't correct, there are usually like multiple things like first the rubber is a, something wrong with the rubber, second thing is the motor, third thing is the battery, like batteries are dying. Yeah, rubber is easy to replace, batteries are easy to replace, but when the motor is dead, that's when the things start in getting complicated. By the way, this is the player that I use. This is GM stereo radio cassette player with uh, what? With, uh, yeah, there's not much uh, options here, just an uh, analog kind of tuner, analog wheel, I mean, uh, FM, AM, stereo, cassette player with headphones and uh, no record functionality, but as you can see, there is a rewind and forward, uh, which basically means it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> but I'm still puzzled why it wasn't correct in the first place, I don't know. Okay, thank you guys. Please subscribe, press the like button, and uh, there will be more strange kind of videos. Thank you.